teacher out of a job over a controversial social media post. Local 10's Glenna Milberg is live in Fort Lauderdale to explain this one. So those controversial social media posts were controversial to begin with because they were about October 7th and about Israel and about Palestinians. And the school and the teacher and her family were apparently hoping to keep it very private, but a family member posted on a GoFundMe page. This is definitely headed for the court of law. We haven't given consent, we haven't given consent for anything. He asked that we stop recording, and we did. His wife not ready to speak. She's the teacher terminated from Pinecrest School for an issue with her post on social media. One says what happened on October 7th didn't come out of nowhere. Another challenges October 7th even happened. Do your own research, it says. The fake stories of beheading, raping, grandmother killing, etc. are just that fake. Its website communicates a diverse school population and intolerance for discrimination. We viewed the teacher's Instagram posts, though because they are on her private Instagram page, we will not make them public. In one of those posts, she includes a photo of herself clearly wearing her Pinecrest employee ID on a logo lanyard. Her family's fundraising appeal for legal funds made her termination public, a page, again, we're not making fully public because of a juvenile picture there. So when this happened about two weeks ago, the school put out a school-wide, a community-wide uh, email, a, a text blast, and part of that made mention that anyone in the school, anyone in the school community shouldn't be looking to social media posts for information or history or context on what's happening in the Middle East right now. I'm Glenna Milberg, live in Fort Lauderdale today, Local 10 News.